So we come to the seventh move of the eight form uh, sequence based on the eight brocades. <clears throat> the uh, Hypno Yoga Pilates Qigong sequence. And this one's the seventh move. Uh, this one's called Punching with Angry Gaze. Punching with an Angry Gaze, should I say, to increase strength. Um, again, it's called a charging fist in the 18, 18 form Qigong sequence um, and other things basically. Um, again, very similar names. Doesn't really matter that. We're going to stick the Pilates set up with the motion. It's a nice sort of carter move, this sort of move in a horse riding stance. You see this a lot. There's a few adaptions to add instability, name stuff like that, um, to stabilize against the instability. In a Pilates manner, we're going to zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, take the navel towards the spine, and that's going to get that corset muscle three layers deep. Okay, now as you do this, now we're going to breathe in through the nose. As you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, and exhale through the nose, okay, keeping the mouth shut and elongating the out breath for as long as you like, okay, but without force anything. The in breath conscious thought. The out breath is subconscious thought. Okay, so in breath conscious thought, out breath is subconscious thought. So by extending that out breath longer than the in breath, you're just encouraging sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation. As you do that now, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, breathe in for the nose and exhale for the nose. That's like yogic breath. We're bringing the yogic principles there by making the breath long. That'll naturally happen for that smaller filter for the nose. And within the yoga postures, etc., it helps you get into them postures easier in a more relaxed manner. And if you wanna take it on a little bit more advanced with the breath, you grip at the esophagus, and go to what we call Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Okay, so again, as you zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, breathing in and out through the nose. You do this soft, sweet, sighing breath. If you could hear that, it's like a... If you grip at that esophagus, then you exhale. and let go. You'll find the out breath will naturally fall longer than the in breath in that sort of hypnotic manner. That bit like 7-11 breathing, you're making the out breath longer than the in breath, so you benefit the parasympathetic nervous system, which helps with sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation, okay? All the things we don't think about are benefited with that hypnotic breath, elongating the out breath. We have the Ujjayi breath, victorious breath, gripping the esophagus, which also helps us lengthen the breath even longer, especially the out breath. Okay, so it's a... And that's that soft, sweet, whistling, silky Ujjayi breath. Okay, again, help gives the mind something to focus on. Helps us focus, okay? Gives the mind something to focus on within the breath and gives that rhythm to the body. Retunes the inner rhythm of the body. Lovely. Within every sort of organ, cell, sinew of the body. So we're gonna link that to motion. So again, it's a nice basic motion. Again, horse riding stance. I will let the knees go past the toes. Gonna have the feet out, not Charlie Chaplin, a slight V. Okay, but don't overdo it. Okay, again, if you want to stay up high, you can do and not move. You go down or you go down deep or not as deep. See what suits you. Modify these to you. Make these unique to you, your body and your rhythm, internal rhythm of the body. Okay, same with the breath. So from here, going to go back as we calibrate and synchronize the breath with the motion. Move that out of the way. From here, hands are here. You're going to breathe in. Shoulders down, feet slightly parted, at a V sort of sumo style, we're gonna exhale down. Gonna breathe in, come up. 
bit sharper on the in-breath, make the out-breath longer, so that motion will be longer. So again, hands are supinated here, facing the ceiling, and they're gonna pronate. Again, shoulders down. Okay, don't let these come up. Gather in, navel towards the spine, exhale. Again, if you want to make this slightly different, you just partially empty one foot, and it's what we call a cat stance. So again, up on the toe with one foot, opposite hand, opposite leg, we come down. It's a and you roll over the other foot, partially empty, toe touching. It's uh, if you do that sideways on, can you see that? I won't go any lower than this knee and nine and toe, the rooted leg, okay. And then exhale. Opposite arm got opposite leg. Really elongate that out breath for as long as you like. Gather in, navel towards the spine. Exhale. And that roll from side to side, you're looking to keep the hips in the same plane. Headlights on your hips, not searchlights facing forward, okay, and again, you're just swapping over, partially empty this foot, opposite hand, and going again, elongate the bit on the out breath, okay, again, within the traditional forms, that, that's helping sort of motions in the body, like a lot of these are linked to organs, etc, that, that one's anger, stuff like that, inappropriate anger, um, so you want to modify it, and just use it when you need it, etc, um, but again, that's more the Qigong sort of philosophy around these motions. This is just motion. We're just linking it to motion, zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, elongating the exhale. Because even though these are specific organs, every single organ, cell, sinew of the body would be benefited with that breath and oxygen, which reach every single inch of every single cell, sinew of the body. Okay, and benefit that in a cellular manner. Again, the cells will communicate easier. Stuff like this, all the parasympathetic responses on the body will benefited by elongating the out-breath, also de without doubt especially. But again, just breathing, just getting that breath in to them organs, them cells of the body will massively benefit you. And that was number seven, so we've got number eight. Shake the back seven times, eliminate 100 illnesses next, but that was number seven. Punching with angry gaze to increase strength. Lovely bang.